All right. Hello, everybody. We're back with more Baldur's Gate. Nice. Twitch chat zoomed us in, very good. And we were about to finally begin the beginning of act three. We finally went, we fought Catherick Thorne, we found Roland, we did all this stuff, and uh, now it's time. We're gonna take the road to Baldur's Gate. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think about the videos. Let me know what you think about Baldur's Gate, the content, what do you guys like the most? Like the video as well, please. Please like the video, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And uh, everything is S-Fan TV, YouTube, Discord, Twitch, Twitter, get involved with the community. So hope you guys enjoy the video. So here's where we're at. Before we take the road to Baldur's Gate and go to Act 3, which is this way, we want to do a little bit of like inventory management here. I can go plus two armor class. I think there was also something else here. What is spell save DC exactly? Certain spells require to make a saving throw. The higher your spell, the harder it is to resist your spells. Okay, well in that case, Maybe Ketherick's shield. Maybe Ketherick's shield is the play. Oh my gosh, Ketherick's shield actually looks sick. Ketherick's shield's great for Gale. Oh my gosh, it is because I have this stupid Woodward shield. You're right. Okay, so we're gonna give her Ketherick, give him Ketherick's shield. Give her this. I, I forgot that I had a shield for him. Ketherick's shield is now yours. Oh, he, it looks cool on him too, to be honest. You're about to progress your adventure. Once you move on, you may not be able to return. It's time for Act 3, guys. The curse has been lifted. The land's cleansed of the shadows. Catherick's reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this, at least, you have triumphed. Okay, so the lands are healed. Yeah, Mihai, I use the, uh, I use the, oh, hold on, I'll tell you after cuts in. Stop, don't one man spam. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure. The preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason. Wait, to what? Cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones, or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. <laughs> Peter. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Catherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be with you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family Chat, nobody's of fixing that, okay? In Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade first tonight. Oh, but tomorrow. And tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again.
Beyond the camps, he does look like a Mortal Kombat. Waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. Baldur's Gate. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, it's Minthar armor. Dude, we did it, dude. We made it to Baldur's Gate. We're at the Worms Lookout. Oh my gosh, we're doing a long rest after I casted all those buffs, man. Should I jump? Jahira. <laughs> uh, Shadowheart has found a little bit of herself again. So Luna cannot take all of the credit. She may have lit the way, but it is the cleric who took this step. Now that we're traveling together, I realize I don't know much about you. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. Yeah, I only listen to people who rhyme, sorry. No rhyme, I'm out of here. We don't want to respect anybody, do we? Shadowheart going straight, Cleric What's is good. Carlock is, is... Which party member has your favorite story so far? As fan, the main character. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Thank you, Three. By zero. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. An army? This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Um, okay, so this is a lot to think about. Will you liberate them from their parasites? What is the most paladin thing? I feel like four is the easy paladin option. Number three, like waiting till the moment comes to make your judgment call. Also, th two, you dominate the world. You you have to spread righteousness across the land. I'm leaning three. Three is 2023 NPC. How is that NPC? This is literally the most the most active choice. It's like no, I'm not gonna make my decision now. I'm gonna wait until until I have all the facts. It's the opposite of NPC. You know. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep. I feel is good not about it. What? Help me. Hi, Gishra Nick. Shield blow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's clobbering time. Are you ready? Wait, why are they? Wait, why are you debuffed? Her voice commanding. Affected entity's brain is being tortured at the whim of the absolute. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think we need to go for Gishra Nick or Gishra Gicklear. Wait, escape to the portal before the absolute takes control? Oh no. I mean, here's the thing. We can literally misty step and leave. Then do it. I could if I wanted to. I just don't want to. Okay. Ew, Carlock, what are you wearing? 
Oh my gosh! What was that damage? Holy! Carlock, 13 piercing, 2 acid, 10 necrotic. 19 piercing, 10 necrotic. Of the sneak attack? 10 piercing, 2 acid. 10, 10, 10, 10 20, 10, 30. 30, 32, 30, 32, 34, 34, 13, 37, 47, 47, 56, 65 damage. Holy! Divine Bone Shard. Wait, why does she have that on her? What's she doing with that thing? <laughs> Action Surge. Wait, 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 hold on. Five head play, around the back, push him into S-Fan. Nice, that means S-Fan doesn't have to move. Fight your way to the portal. I need your help. Gale, Gale is us. Magic missile. One, two. Two to five damage each. Say it does three to four. Three to four. Torment. Nice. Okay. Need to act fast. You're gonna go. Hit her with a guiding bolt, rank one. Okay, God. Come on. Come stay idle. Swift as my feet can carry me. Here we go. I'm actually not gonna greater weapon master and just make sure I get the hit in. Uh, did I send when the When are we gonna get some more of that sweet, sweet Kila Mepi Aspen scoop? I'm not doing key lime pie. Oh my gosh, I made a huge mistake. I should have just killed her. Okay, you're gonna misty step up there. Okay, Carlock will finish this. Badass. Okay. Yeah. Wait. What? Is there another? Is there another guy here? Huh. Okay. Two turns remaining. We're good. We got this. Wait, dude. She just pounded him. Come quickly. I can't do this without you. Nice. Wait, I can just keep farming these guys. Amethyst, that's good gold. Maybe I should just concentrate. Okay, now we just walk through. <gasps> Easy. That thing's about to blow. Oh, I should have had Lazel because we're fighting Gith Yankee. That would have been sick. Are you? What is your health at, man? Oh my gosh! Wait, do I save her or hold on? Do I hold on? The intellect devourers are on our side. What? How did that happen? Okay. Uh. Okay. Miss. Miss. Screwed up. I should have done that first. I screwed up. 
Uh, fire weapon. No, we are not the bad guys. We would literally never be the bad guys. Take you first. Um. Oh my gosh. One health? Are you kidding me? Bro. Oath break number three. I'm not gonna oath break. This could be fire, baby. Allow me to demonstrate. When you get, you will be cleansed. Um. Maybe we do an offhand attack. Oh, it feels like such a waste, man. I'm just gonna be honest, chat. Is she gonna attack me? I don't care. She won't even hit me, probably. Look at that miss. You see that? Skills. Oh my gosh. No, all the little, little guys. Torment. It's not over. Come to the skull. You know, there's loot. Alchemist fire, grilled pork leg. We need those for camp supplies. Universe is about to explode. And we have to loot. True. Well, look, dude. These intellect devourer, devourers, devourers give a uh, Sarah Bellums, who is the lady from uh, no. Power of Girls. Initiated the scene as Carlock, is that okay? I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Help. TMI. Me. Prove to me that you are who you say. You saved a child from a viper back in the Druid's Grove. You saved the Asima Night Soul from her soul cage. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all proof. That is no. true. Help me. Because we, we try to read the Mind Flayer's thoughts. Intelligence check. Oh, no. <gasps> Saved. Okay. Despite your best attempts to be subtle, the Mind Flayer's awareness is everywhere. You blunder in its presence like a warg pup learning to walk. You must be joking. I am telling you my thoughts <laughs> directly into your head. But if you insist on taking a look for yourself, be my guest. Colorful existence to date could have prepared you for this. As the horror subsides, you are left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue the Githyanki. Really? Happy? Now, join me. Fight! 
Now we did destroy the crash. Join the Mind Flayers fight. Together, we can turn. Oathbreaker? Wait, what? I'm not Oathbreak. The Emperor. Renegade Illithid. Okay, so we're gonna go... Dude, these things are stacked. Uh, repost? Okay. Um, what the... What? What? Oh my gosh! Actually, we should just Valavent. And then passive, greater weapon master. Okay, 99 or 91%. We're gonna take the 91%. It is so much more damage, look at this. It's 10 more damage at a loss of 8% hit, hit chance. We're gonna be fine. Ooh, do we go for the big crit? Yes. Do we go for the big divine smite? Nice, let's go. Okay, the one shot. Dude, I'm telling you, my paladin is disgusting, dude. I don't have a bonus action. Okay, it's okay, I got a crossbow, I got this. Ready? Big damn right here. Zero damage, I did literally zero damage. Okay, I literally did zero damage, okay. Hello, Gale. What are you doing? <laughs> Where are you? Where is Gale? Gale, what are you? As you wish. Dude, Gale is just. Okay, whatever. Um, command, command, command a creature to move towards you on its turn and do nothing else. Saved. Okay, that sucks. Can I put this up here? Nice. Huge. The big lacerate. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it's a really good strat where you split DPS as much as possible and then end up getting almost killed. Okay. Okay, that was horrible. Big greater weapon master. Actually, you know what? Big damn divine smite. Four damage. Wait, dominated the mind? Why did you dominate the one that has four health? Hey, Gale, you want to do anything or no? I just gonna you're just gonna hang out back there, dude. How come he's in combat 80 miles away, man? All right, guys, I'm here. Divine Strike Radiance. What's this? Oh wait, nice! You killed somebody. Good job, Shadowheart. Healer doing more than the wizard. This is an MMO healer. Shadowheart's an MMO healer, not a anime healer. Oh, she's not dominated. Oh no. Oh, she missed. Thank goodness, dude. Dude, imagine she got res and just immediately got knocked. Okay, big offhand attack, watch this, the knife to the chest, dead. <laughs> One health, are you kidding me, dude? Oh, she has two bonus actions, that's right. But maybe I go with a second win first. Maybe I second win myself. I think, I think that was unnecessary. Cause what if he comes and shoots at her or something, you know? <laughs> nice. Okay, s fan. Got the big dam right here. Okay. Give me the big level three. Ooh, that was like, dude, that was like 90 damage. Non crit 90 damage. Nice, greater weapon master proc.
Don't look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. A slave to the rhythm. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. Oh my gosh, am I am I doing this dialogue as Shadowheart now? You were in the prison all this time? Why did you deceive me? It was necessary. Rare are those that would openly consider a partnership with a mind flayer. Even those who are on a path of becoming one. It's like I said before, I'm just like you. An adventurer, I came from Baldur's Gate. Though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind flayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. What? For years, I served the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Red Wait. mist. And they fueled me when I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillman. We formed a partnership. And through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Oh, Though of wow. course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the Tower oh, itself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home. And brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name Flat was bank. intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. So Lord Gortash was one of the chosen in the colony. Indeed. His hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. Did you have to eat the criminal's brains? Rather them than potential future allies like you. Uh, no, but <laughs> I didn't realize mind flayers could be independent thinkers. Not all mind flayers are alike. I have always valued freedom above all else in my past life and present. It has been a burning need within me for as long as I can remember. Okay. Uh, are you going to tell me what the battle was about? We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith. Self. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus, his mother, to bring about the fall of the Elithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, a usurper took her place. Blacketh declared herself Queen of the Githyanki. Blacketh wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince, and if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. So were you imprisoned here as well? No. Oh. 
God have sent me okay. on a mission to retrieve the Astral Dude, this prison. is so weird. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside, and found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Yeah, I got. Better. Yeah, true. Actually. I could plan to overthrow them. So he could take All on any I shape. To he took the shape of a woman. To Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. So was it you or Orpheus that Vlacketh wanted to kill when she ordered us inside the prison? Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyankis still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blacketh was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. What if we? What happens if we free Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him, and in so doing, you would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion, a pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. The more I talk to you, the less you seem like a mind flayer. I appreciate that, but this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel. But the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew on me. I realized that returning to my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid ship you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm trying to avoid becoming a mind flayer. I don't like what you're implying here. No, I'm not gonna do it. Do it, it's powerful. I No, I don't wanna be a mind flayer. If I, if I say that I wanna do it, does it show a cutscene? Can I, yeah, can I make another character, Illithid, mind flayer, but not s -fan? Then I'll do it to Gale, actually. Because, <laughs> hey, look, Gale's <laughs> just always the punching bag. Why do you say that? I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. If you can evolve me, why can't you just stop the Seramorphosis altogether? The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you. Okay. As I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well with the limited form you have, but you would do far do I better team? Just do I team. So, do you wish to evolve or not? Okay, so I will say yes. I will say yes, but not to Esvand, to Gale. Well, suddenly brave of you. Say that much. You continue to surprise me. Your mind is truly something special. Now, 
Hold out your hand. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake here. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Can I change characters here? Do as it says. Wait. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. How have I gotten like five nat ones and no nat twenties? Okay, thank you. Thank God. Oh my gosh, dude. Thank God. A Finally. Of disappointment stronger than any you've ever felt. And then. Stillness. You've resisted your lifted instincts. For now. You are not ready yet. Keep hold of it then. Until you are. It has enough vitality to further your evolution. And your allies. First try! Perhaps you will be more inclined to try it when you see more of what our enemy can do. We mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the Thanks, army watches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain and bring it under our control. Okay. Uh, time to go. Time to go, Podchamp. So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact, or astral prism, the whole time we've had it. Sounds like okay. utter madness. Even Why did her hair color change? My own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore. Nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? Yeah, this hair is better. I want to talk about all that's happened. Fine. What's on your mind? Be honest. <laughs> what do you think of the new look? Uh, if it helps you put the past behind you, I'm all for it. Not for me, but who cares? I think this hair is way better. I think she, I think it should have been this hairstyle, but dark. Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. What? I have a lot to get used to right now. Okay, well, I'm leaving. I don't see Lazel anywhere. <laughs> Guys, where's Lazel? <laughs> nah, I gotta wait for S Fan to get over here now. Oh, there it comes. Just why is she not wearing anything? I I really didn't see her until here. But look, uh, they were like phased out. Did you see, they were like ghosts. Your parasite communes with Lysel's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Vos would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. Okay. The blood of the mother? Who is he exactly? Listen close. The Empress spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacketh. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells. And Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Uh, 157? That's a lot of Vlakiths. Yes. Our current Queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was. is. Gith's only son, 
He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup no, against Bonnie. Flakith One. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle, or so the Varshis teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. She's wearing somebody else's underwear. But I don't remember why. I just threw underwear on everybody. Uh, so then what happens now? We meet Voss in the city, and we obtain the key to freeing Orpheus from his prison. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our gay slavers. One word from his lips, Wait. and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If a Githyank here to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. Okay, before we continue, actually, let's give Gale our tadpole. Gale, Gale. Civilization beckons at last. Uh, we've been given a rare gift, an astral touch tadpole, with the power to grant you a new partial illithid form. I can only imagine what I could do were I to adopt the biology of a mind flayer. You've not taken this power for yourself. So I can only wonder, why offer it to me? Persuasion. You will wield this power well and with wisdom. There aren't many I trust with this. Yes! Oh my gosh! I dude, I max rolled the guidance, dude. Max roll on the guidance. If this is what the fates have offered to aid our cause, then who am I to refuse? Coach, I'll I heard Matt off. Ryan signed a one-year deal with the Jets per shifter. I'll take your tadpole. I'll, let's see what it has to offer. Thanks, Austin Orange. Life pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper. Wait, Matt Ryan's trying to deal with the Jets? It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. Open your mind to it. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt Ew, more connected. Now. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Perhaps, once the others see what you can do, they will consider trying it for themselves. Okay, well, so now, here's what I need to do. Okay, Gale is now a mind flare. Okay, or he's, he's, he's half illithid, right? That's the... He's a partial illithid. That's the uh, correct terminology, okay? Gale is a partial illithid now. I think we go, we just, we, look, we have seven tadpoles available. I think we hit the mine sanctuary. We hit the mind blast. Free cast. You've discovered a marvelous adaptability spell slot shard and similar resources resource cost for your next. Then let's go inside. Action spell Don't removed. Refresh after. Wait, what? Free cast? Wait, that sounds insane. Can I go from fly to black hole, or do I need to get displace? Dude, is this? I'm just giving. Dude, I'm giving Gale all the tadpoles. Oh wait, you, did I get fly automatically? Oh, I got fly automatically. Oh wait, that means I didn't need... Oh no, I didn't need this. Psionic dominance. Wait, okay, so Gilligan is gonna be... G Gilligan? <laughs> Gilligan is gonna be disgusting. Gale is gonna be disgustingly powerful. Dude, Gale is gonna be a god. I might as well just get Repulsor too while I'm at it. Dude. Okay. 
Gail is now like God mode, basically. All right, uh, so that's it for Baldur's Gate 3 for today. I guess we did the transition of going into Act 3. We did the camp stuff, found out about the Emperor. We turned Gale into a into a half Illithid. So Gale might be like an absolute monster at this point. Uh, next time, we're gonna get into some combat. I think we'll do the circus next time. That's what everybody seems to be saying in chat. They seem to be go, go do the circus. So uh, we're here, we're in town. We're not actually at Baldur's Gate yet. We're in Rivington. We're in Rivington and the city is just freaking going nuts. So, I mean, there's tons of people, there's tons of conversations, there's just people talking nonstop. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure to sub to the YouTube channel, follow the stream, like the video. Liking actually helps a lot. Leaving comment helps a lot. YouTube, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Twitch, uh, everything is SFAN TV. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time.